Fellowship in Mayo Clinic is more than simply a collegiate experience. It's also a professional growth experience. I felt that more than any other institution, you're not just growing as an academic, you're not just growing as a professional, but overall you're growing as a person. Being able to access a diverse fund of clinical knowledge becomes essential, not just for the sake of your patient outcomes, but for your own peace of mind as a provider. So you're always keeping that in mind when you're picking a fellowship program. Where can I see the most? Where can I learn the most? And where can I have the greatest impact? These fundamentals, coupled with my desire to continue to see patients in my home state, made picking Mayo Clinic Florida a no-brainer. The first thing, you know, going from residency where you're, you know, focusing on all different kinds of things to going to fellowship, where you're really trying to specialize and learn all you can about one particular field, which is what we were doing with infectious diseases. You know, we saw enough patients that you really got to learn the field of ID, both the general infectious diseases as well as transplant infectious diseases. But at the same time, the workload wasn't so great that you didn't have time to also learn, you know, from reading books or attending lectures. Yeah, many fellows, you know, so they'll be thinking that, you know, they'll be working only in the clinic, uh, interacting with the patients. But Mayo has, you know, that's what the new program is, 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 is adding a research component and training component. It, it, the research component is, you know, so we have, so they, can, they will get time off to do research and uh, also get involved in scholarly activity. If they, for example, find something uh, new, so they can just uh, invite or collaborate with us. So we will do a lot of, you know, we can train them. It is very important for an infectious disease fellow to have a choice in how they tailor their fellowship program because you have to be happy with the career choices you make in life. Not everybody is a researcher, not everybody is a clinician, and other people have many different interests that vary amongst uh, their own uh, cultural background or the patient population that would, they would like to serve. Currently, we're the only parasitology lab for the entire Mayo system. So we have collections of parasites that are from around the world from Africa, from Asia, from, from different parts of the world that we do research on. We have a, a strong focus in the discovery of new treatments and new drugs. So some of these parasitic diseases, they're what are called neglected diseases. There's not a lot of you know, funding and interest in, in some of them. So we work on those and we work on discovery of new molecules and compounds that can be used to treat patients that have these. So we have, a, a, in addition to what you consider the traditional bench type of research, uh, the wet lab, we have a dry lab, which is a, a huge in silico modeling, computer-assisted design lab, where we can uh, look at molecules, we can look at interactions, and predict what will work to treat certain infections. We encounter very unusual organisms. We have a unique patient population. Many of our patients are unfortunately immunosuppressed, so consequently we see a very wide variety of different pathogens, very unusual presentations. So that's unusual in itself. We are a full service 24-7 microbiology laboratory. We are fully staffed at all times with dedicated microbiologists. Sometimes not a lot of other institutions have that luxury but we, at all times, we're engaging in high-level diagnostics, very esoteric disease presentations, with a very, very experienced and knowledgeable staff. I think the Mayo experience is incredible because it gives you the chance to see patients in a variety of settings. Being close to breathtaking beaches, historic sites, and the beating heart of the entertainment industry and tourist industry in Florida, is a plus I can live with too. Jacksonville in general is a staggeringly large city. From the metro area proper to the seven county area at large, you'll have plenty of breathing room to find a place where you fit in. It's been a joy for me, and the fun part is continuing to unravel it all. So I'll take the bait, go on an adventure, see what you find.